Hello friends, this is Evangelist Carlos. I have a prophetic word here for you. And I'm going to deliver this word to you right now. Okay, and it is a good one. Amen. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, listen. Pay close attention. Okay. I, I, I'm, I may be speaking to more than one person here. I may be speaking to many people, but that's okay. Okay. But this is a very specific word from God. Look, listen. God says in the book of Revelation, chapter uh, 3, verse 7. The Bible says, okay, that he opens and no one shuts. And he shuts and no one opens. The Bible is talking about Jesus, okay? He, he shuts doors that no one opens. And he opens doors that no one shuts. That's the good news. Now, what I'm saying here to you, I want you to pay close attention. You've been knocking on several doors over the years. You have been knocking on many doors. And they seem to be locked up. They are not open, you know, to you. I'm talking about doors of opportunities in some areas of your life, perhaps relationships, perhaps finances, perhaps, you know, uh, um, you know, like, uh, you know, career, you know, um, it can be anything. You've been knocking on those doors. You've been, you've been knocking on those doors and they are shut. They are locked up. Amen. But listen, Revelation says, okay, that he opens and no one shuts, and he shuts, and no one opens. There's an open door for you, okay? Amen? There's an open door for you. Look, the Bible says in the book of Matthew here, okay? Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For he who asks, receives. He who seeks, finds. And to him who knocks, it will be open. There's an open door for you that Jesus opened up, okay? And as you go around knocking on doors, when you knock on that door, the door is going to be wide open. It's a good one. It's a good one. Amen. It's a good door. You keep on knocking, and, and when you knock on that door, that door is going to be open for you right there on the spot okay but you have to keep moving forward okay you have to keep moving forward you have to keep getting out there and knocking on doors and that you're gonna knock on that door that particular one that jesus has uh, opened for you once you knock on that door it's going to be wide open and it's going to be so refreshing it's going to be, you're going to feel good. You're going to feel happy. You know, you're going to feel, you know, you're going to feel the presence of God right there. Okay. That's going to be an indication that God opened up the door for you. Amen. Go by the desires of your heart. The Bible says in Psalm 37 verse 4. Okay. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. You must be desiring to have something good that is in line with the Word of God, not against the Word of God. God is not going to open any door for you if that door is going to cause you to sin. If that door is going to cause you, you know, to worship the devil, it's not going to happen. Okay? You need to be walking with God. You need to be walking and believing in God and praise in his name amen and then as you do those things and as you have a good desire in your heart then it's done deal it's done deal it's coming and you will see it you will see it okay and you're gonna feel the love of god upon you like never before Never before you're going to feel the love of God. You're going to tell, start telling people, wow, I feel the love of God on me. Amen. And that door is going to be open for you and you're going to walk through it and you're going to feel, you know, you're going to feel like, you know, fulfillment. 
Okay. Amen. Finally, something has fulfilled. Something good has fulfilled in your life. You will see it. Okay. Walk with Christ. Praise his holy name. Okay. Confess his name. Confess him as your Lord and Savior. Amen. Can you say amen? Can you type amen now below in the comment area? Can you subscribe to this video to help us out? Amen. Can you, you know, like this video, leave a comment and subscribe? Praise God. Amen. All right. Listen to this video again. You know, the more the better. You know, you, 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 you got to get that faith pumped up. Okay. By listening to this video two, three times, you might get that boost in your faith. And then pretty soon, you're going to see that door wide open before you. Can you say amen? Praise God. All right. God bless you now. And keep looking here for more videos. Okay. God bless you now. Bye. Hello, friends. This is Brother Carlos here with another video. Okay. Another update about the situation I'm going through. Okay. Just a little recap. I already recorded a couple of videos about this. Okay. I've been on YouTube since 20. To, since 2007, I started in 12, uh, July to, uh, 2007. But you know, when YouTube started monetizing, that was back in 2012. Then, then I got my, you know, videos monetized on YouTube. But it, it, you know, it didn't go too far, and YouTube restricted my accounts. Okay, so they didn't give much explanation about it. But I think it's because I was driving out demons. At that time, I was the only one on YouTube driving out demons. Okay, then, you know, a couple of years later, other people start showing up. I don't know if that was the reason, uh, if they didn't like what I was doing. You know, it was easy to target me because I was the only one casting out demons on YouTube. You know, some of you can go back, you know, to 2012, 2011, and you're going to see. So because of that, you know, I have not been monetizing on YouTube. I've been leaving off donations because my passion is to preach the gospel and is to set the captives free. So I've been doing that since 20, since 2007. But, you know, so over the years, you know, things were going just fine because, you know, I was able to get the views. I wasn't getting money, but I was getting the views. My, my viewership was pretty good. I was getting on average a day, five to 10,000 views a day, you know, so that was enough, you know, to get, to teach, to cast demons out and to receive donations, okay? So, but you know, about a year ago, things started going really, really bad because YouTube started shrinking my viewership even more to the point that today, okay, I only get about, you know, two to three hundred views a day okay if you know if, if it's a good day on a bad day i'm getting 60 to 80 views so that is not enough for me you know to live off you know youtube and off donations so also on top of that i'm 63 years old okay i've been looking for jobs but i'm not finding because of my age i believe it's because of my age so here's the thing folks okay if any of my teachings or deliverance videos or anything that i have done on youtube over the past 14 to 15 years if any of those you know has impacted you okay in one way or another it has helped you has helped your family I'm going to ask you to consider sowing a financial seed today to help me, okay? I'm behind on bills. I, I'm trying to catch up, but it's not, you know, it's not been easy, okay? I'm really, you know, asking you, okay, to sow a financial seed, okay, to God, honor God through my life and ministry. I've been serving Christ for over 35 years driving out demons, helping people here and there for over 35 years. I'm going to ask you to prayerfully consider sowing a financial seed, okay? Below this video, okay? I have my donation links there. Or you can go to my website, brothercarlos.com, okay? Which is a safe website. I'm asking you to honor God through my calling and through my ministry. God will bless you, no question about it, okay?
Amen. So I'm not just doing nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm doing research. I'm looking into start my own business so I can fund my own ministry. Okay. I'm, I'm working. I'm calling people. I'm talking to people. I, I'm doing my research. Hopefully pretty soon I will come up with something, whether a business or a good job. But in the meantime, I'm going to ask you to prayerfully consider sowing a financial seed, seed today to help me below this video or at brothercarlos.com. Okay, you're going to be honoring God through this ministry. God bless you now, and I will continue praying for those who have, you know, been coming to my channels and watching my videos. They will continue to be blessed watching my videos. God bless you now. Please show it below this video. God bless you now. Bye now.